Hello, mathematicians. Welcome back to Number Corner. For Number Corner today, we will be working with our calendar collector. Today, you will need your Number Corner book and a pencil. You can pause the video now to get what you need. When you have your Number Corner book, why don't you open it up to page 77. We are going to record how much our seedlings have grown since last we measured them. That was a whole week ago. We will also record the amount of change that has occurred. Let's have a look at how our plants have grown in this week. On the left, you can see a picture of our plants last Monday on the 12th. Wow, look at the difference to our plants now on the right. That's a week's worth of change. Quite a difference. We will continue to measure the same plants together on our chart, the plants from group one. Now we can see from the pictures that our seedlings are getting really tall. On the left, we can see that our pea seedlings are falling all over. Because they are so tall, they need to be supported with string tied to a stick. This will keep the seedlings from falling down as they grow. It will also let them grow because they're just resting in between the string, it's not holding them back from growing. Now that our peas are supported, let's record their height for today, and then we'll record the rest of our heights we need to catch up on. Because our seedlings are so delicate, we will read their height using a picture this week. It's a lot harder to move them around and put them under the camera for you to see, so we'll use pictures from now on. If we're looking at our pea seedlings on the left, well, we can see that they're taller now than our centimeter ruler. Our centimeter ruler only goes up to 25 centimeters, so we need to look at the ruler on top of our centimeter ruler to start to add more centimeters on. Our ruler stops at 25 centimeters. We can see we have one more centimeter for 26 and one more centimeter to make it 27 centimeters tall today. For our corn seedlings, we can see it's just above the 15 centimeter mark. We will go with the closest centimeter it measures to 15 centimeters. Let's open those books to page 77 and fill in our chart. Your plant growth chart should look a lot like mine. The last date you will have filled in is 4-12, April 12th. That's the last time we recorded our measurements. Over the last week, it has grown for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days that we need to fill in. Let's start by filling in the growth for the 13th. Write the date 4-13 and write the height, the amount of change for the peas, and then the height and the amount of change for the corn. You'll need to fill in all the way up to the 18th, then we'll fill in the 19th together. Pause the video now to catch up to today. Now that you are all caught up, let's fill in our height for today. We measured our pea seedling at 27 cm, or centimeters. What is the amount of change from the 18th to the 19th? 
how many centimeters did our pea seedlings grow? If you were thinking two centimeters, that's correct. Good thinking. Now remember, our corn seedlings were 15 centimeters. Write that down. Can you think of the amount of change from the 18th to the 19th for our corn? If you were thinking three centimeters, that's good thinking. When your plant growth chart is all filled in, we will move on to plotting our plant growth today. Now that we've recorded the height of our plants, we are going to update that information on our line plot. When we do this, we will place boxes on the line that match the height of our plants, just like we did last week. The boxes will represent each group of corn and peas that we planted. Remember, we planted more than what we just measured together. We have been measuring group one together. Each box will show the group number for the plant, the date, and the height in centimeters. The green boxes represent the pea seeds and the yellow boxes represent the corn seeds. Now we've already measured our seeds, so let's plot the heights. Our height for our pea seedlings for group one today was 27 centimeters. A little different for group three, Group two at 20, 36 centimeters, group three is 36 centimeters, group four is 33 centimeters, group five is 34 centimeters, group six is 36 centimeters. For corn, our corn is 15 centimeters, group two is 11 centimeters, group three is 15 centimeters, group four is 15 centimeters, group five is 15 centimeters, and group six is 16 centimeters. Here's how those numbers look on our line plot. April 19th is today. Here are all of our measurements for today. Take a moment to look at them. Now I want you to think do you remember how many days have pan passed since we first planted the seeds? If we planted them on the 5th, and today is the 19th, how many days has it been? If you're thinking 15 days, show a connection. Yeah, our seeds have been growing for 15 days. Are everyone's seedlings the same height? When I say everyone's, I mean the groups. Is each group of seedlings the same height? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I should see a lot of thumbs down. No, they're spread all over. From eight centimeters all the way up to 36 centimeters. That's a big range. How tall is our tallest seedling? How short is our shortest seedling? What's the difference between their two heights? And how do you know? Like we said, we start at eight centimeters for one of our corn seedlings, and a few of our pea seedlings are 36 centimeters. Wow, that's a big difference. What is that difference? Is anybody thinking 28 centimeters? Show a connection if that's what you thought. Yeah, how did you know that? You may have known in a few different ways. You may have thought in your head, well, 36 minus 8. I know 36 minus 6 is 30. 
minus two more is 28. You may have thought, well, 36 minus eight, let me count back on my number line or line plot. Sure does look a lot like a number line, doesn't it? We can go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You may have known the answer in a different way. Now I want you to think about the most common height for each type of seedling. Just for today, just for April 19th, our April 12th numbers are from last time. What's the most common height for peas this time? Show a connection if you were thinking 36 centimeters. If you're thinking 36 centimeters, how do you know? Well, if you are noticing that there's one, two, three pea seedlings that measure at 36 centimeters, that's more than the other three measurements. That's good thinking. Using that same thinking, what's the most common corn seedling height? Just for today. Show a connection if you're thinking 15 centimeters. Yeah, four of our six measurements for corn are on the 15 centimeter measurement. They're all stacked up there. Now I want you to think about the difference in height of the tallest and shortest corn seedling. What's the difference in that height? Show connection if you're thinking it's seven centimeters. If you're showing a connection, how did you know that? Yeah, maybe you were thinking, well, 15 is the highest any of these yellow corn post-its go. So 15 must be the highest height for corn, or tallest height. <laughs> eight must be the lowest because for the 19th, eight centimeters is the lowest measurement. The space in between is seven centimeters. How about for the peas? What's the difference between the height of the tallest and shortest pea seedling just for April 19th? Show a connection if you're thinking nine centimeters. Yeah, that's good thinking. How do you know? Maybe you saw that 36 centimeters is the tallest any of our pea seedlings are today. Did you also see that the pea seedling we measured today was the shortest at 27 centimeters? The difference between the two is nine centimeters. You could have used our line plot as a number line and counted all the way up. That would have been a good way to find the answer. Does there seem to be any difference so far in how tall the corn is growing compared to the peas? Show a connection if you still think the peas are growing faster. Yeah, it looks like that is still happening that we thought about last time. We're going to post this same kind of data again a week from now. Can you make any predictions about what it will look like? Maybe you think the peas will continue to grow faster. Maybe you think they'll start growing a little more slowly. Things will slow down. We'll find out next time, mathematicians. Time to jump into Seesaw and show your teacher what you know.